Alrighty, good morning. It's Saturday. We got a beautiful day out there. Uh, this is from this morning. Let's see if we can roll this at this bad boy up. Um, just beautiful atmosphere, sunny conditions, clear skies, and I can loop this up. Last three hours. This is Marin County looking south. See the clouds kind of clearing out of the. Look at that. Oh my god. Oh my god. Hey, by the way, that weather system that went through here, awesome. Awesome for the reservoirs, for the fish, for the, the fish on the, 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 the new Klamath River, which is, is, is being inundated with uh, salmon as we speak. After they pull those dams out, you're flushing water out. This whole cycle is awesome. And for this time of year, I'll play that again because it was so bitching. Uh, for this time of year, the, this could not, there could not have been, in my mind, a better storm. That, that, this last storm in February would have been an issue. This last storm, one degree south, 60 miles south focus, more towards the Central Bay, would have been disastrous. That much rain, the infrastructure, the cities, you, you know the drill. This thing came at the, you know, low rivers, slow, beginning of winter, and we put immense amounts of water in Lake Orville, in Lake Shasta, in Lake Pillsbury, in Lake Sonoma, in the Marin County watershed surface reservoirs went like this and the groundwater gets a little percolation not as much as we'd like and in the mountains a winter storm warning is staying in effect through the next couple of days and so that i mean that there's more snow up there we'll see that coming up we'll look at the winter storm warning we'll look at the visual the visible satellite from uh the from space but the amount of snow this morning you can see on the on the spine of the sierra nevada is awesome so if you're going to be a Californian, and I know you guys are, but if you're going to be a Californian, you got to understand this is how this goes. I keep saying it because this isn't, you know, there's so much doom and gloom around these storms. And it's like, uh, yeah, but we need these. Now, the doom and gloom comes by from a little bit about population, where people have moved to, living in on ridgelines, living in floodplains. You know, it's, I mean, the, there's a reason. Uh, the way to work California weather is, this is what I've always thought. All you got to do is go to the missions in the, the, this old Spanish missions. Look where they're built. They're not built on the coast. They're not built on, rip. they know, they are new, that now, and we know now that there's floods, there's tsunamis, there's rain, there's mud, there's, where the missions were built, I, I can't think of one that's in a bad spot. <clears throat> The Capistrano one, maybe. But either way, it's California. Just get used to it. This was a perfect storm for the Bay Area in California. And it's a great way to kick off the winter. Okay, so here is the uh, live picture. This is Alcatraz, which looks incredibly small. And this is Angel Island. And this is part of the park. And it's beautiful. Beautiful day. Okay, this is the satellite I wanted to show you. This is... Let me move this over just a little bit. There we go. That's the spine of the Sierra Nevada. Isn't that awesome? Look at all that snow, man. We'll go up there live here in a second. I just wanted you to see. This. So the visible. Here we are. A few clouds. More rain coming, but looks minor and, and, and widely scattered. Nothing with the impacts of what we just experienced. What we just experienced was a, a the North Bay was a 10 out of 10, man. That thing was awesome. The amount of rain. Santa I've never seen Santa Rosa receive you know the town i mean i can i've seen the coastal hills i've seen up in clear lake and Canuck, but santa rosa sort of sits in this bowl right and so they're often you know they get a lot of rain but this was rain that was sort of bonnie dune ish um okay so there is the uh snow on the spine of the sierra nevada we can go up there this is let's see where this is this looks like we're at um let's see where we're at this is soda springs and beautiful beautiful day i hope you went up there i I, everybody goes to tall these, but look at all the snow on the side of the road. I know it's it's plowed, but there's there's a foot, maybe a foot and a half of snow, maybe two feet up at the tops of the ridge lines, and traffic's moving pretty good. Um, let's see, we got I got more snow pictures because I love these cameras are awesome. This is Caltrans website, by the way. This is more on uh, Soda Springs, more snow. So yeah, I, I'm looking. You're looking at hmm, a couple feet, maybe foot and a half. Either way. It's awesome early on and the traffic is moving you see cars beautiful day there's nothing better in my mind than waking up and i grew up in paradise and we used to have 
uh, snow days. And there's nothing better, especially as a kid, there's nothing better than waking up to snow. This is trucky, and you can see what happens, the lee side of the mountain kind of a thing, right? When you're, you know, you get on the back side of the hills, it's rain shadow effect. And so you're not, the moisture available here, most of it dumps out on the west slope as it gets pushed uphill, orographic lifting, um, conservation of angular momentum, we talked about that. And uh, by the time you get over here, you got pretty much dry roadways. And so not a bad day in, 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 in the Lake Tahoe area. Uh, at the beach, Ocean Beach, a couple surfers going out. It's surfable today. Beautiful day. And I'd be interested. I know I always hate to ask you guys to comment. But it is interesting because it's an interesting, you guys are an interesting group, truthfully. Um, and I love hearing what your comments. And my, my thought now is like the great highway. So I've grown up running across, scampering across the highway from this vantage point to get to the beach over the last 45 years and dodging cars <laughs> and stuff. And now the Great Highway, right, they're getting ready to close it. It's closed for the weekend now. Um, and I, I have a lot of friends that live out there that it's an issue for them. I have a lot of people that live out there that love it. They don't live at the avenues. It's usually the people that live in the city, right? Or like me, I, I actually love it because I go there and I, it's fun to see the kids skating. It's fun, you know, they sk skating on the, um, and riding their bikes for the first time in the city. It's sort of awesome. So I'll be interested in what you think. Don't, yeah, I know. There's a lot. It's a hot conversation. This is Santa Cruz. And you see a few clouds lingering down there. Boardwalk up here. Boardwalk up here. Um, I think that's, I can't tell if that's the pier. I think that's the pier. Yeah, that must be the Dream Inn over there. But just a beautiful shot. Beautiful day. And then this is, I want just so there's no concerns over the Russian River. Um, that This is the line. Let's see if I can pull it in for you. So that was, the, that was yesterday, right? And here we are coming in today, and you can see the line dropping down. So the, the, the river at Healdsburg basically, or uh, yeah, <clears throat> pardon me, at Healdsburg basically got to um, right at moderate flood stage, which is, is it's, a, it's a big deal, but it's not a big deal. In other words, it's, it's at that point, the river, remember the river, how they open up like a martini glass? So... And rivers have a lot of room to, to move off to the side. So that last six inches, two inches, a foot is really hard to get. The first, you know, six feet, ten feet, boom, goes quick because you're down here in the bottom in the, in the viewpoint. Okay, so we got an interesting week ahead. Um, we've got some showers to talk about as we go into tomorrow. But again, it, none of it looks like high-grade stuff as we go into this holiday week. You know, like you guys going skiing, you folks going to the coast. I think the weather is about as not too bad, I mean, compared to what we've just seen. So here's the forecast, you can take a look at it. And, you know, I think scattered showers here and there, um, it's gonna feel very winter-like. The winter storm warning in the mountain is something to think about only because they've kept it up there because of that thing we've talked about, conservation of angular momentum, where, where the clouds go up there and then they get, they get pushed up against the top and then they open up and they slow down. So the storm slows down. So the clouds slow down and they pile up and that's enough as these clouds like today, these clouds here go through, they're gonna stack up on the west slope of the Sierra Nevada and they'll potentially drop more snow. And that winter storm warning stays in effect, I believe through the 26th. Okay, that's a quick one. Um, we'll see you tonight on channel two. Have a good day.